I'm Joe, the Communications Officer for FEMS, and I'm joined today by Professor Miroslav Radman, who is the co-founder of the Mediterranean Institute for Life Sciences, where we are today, and also one of the co-directors of the FEMS Summer School for Postdocs, which is happening over the next week. So thanks for joining me today. What's your favorite microbe and why? At this point in time, it's Deinococcus radiodurans. Okay. In, is it so indestructible, tough? Or, yes, yeah. indestructible bacterium. <laughs> <laughs> do you work on it at all here? Or? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we, worked, we worked quite a bit on, on that bacterium, trying to understand how something like ionizing radiation cannot kill a million rads of radiation, cannot kill a bacterium that is made of the same kind of proteins and DNA that others. That's have. a good answer. I haven't had that one yet. Um, I guess my second question then is, who's your microbiological hero and why? My biological hero is Sidney Brenner. For the reason that he, he, he was a free mind, uh, incredibly imaginative, participated in several key discoveries of classic biology, and last but not least, and a great sense of humor. Yeah, okay, which is always good. <laughs> and then my final question is, you know, if you could make everybody in the world understand one piece of microbiological knowledge, what would it be? Everybody in the world, I would use microbes to illustrate evolution as the most successful process in, 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 in probably in the universe. Uh, uh, just life on Earth as it is, is almost four billion years old. So we, we have a process um, uh, based on the principle of evolution that is practically immortal. The products are ephemeral, but the process is so robust yeah. that it is practically immortal. It's four billion uh, years, right? Uh, yeah, I, yes, exactly. And, yeah. And, and we know that when the life started when we have last universal common ancestor, that it, it looked very similar to a bacterium. Yeah. And it was a single-celled uh, organism that, 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 that reproduced its genetic and therefore functional information. And, and, and that's how the life started to grow like And eventually like became a all of tree. us as well, you know? Yeah. Eventually reproduced into every human alive today, which is amazing. Yes, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that, that we have a... a uninterrupted tree of life over four billion years, starting with something like bacterium and to the people like you and me talking yeah. now. Amazing. Right, thanks for taking the time to chat to me today. Right. And uh, good luck to the summer school. It's going to be great fun, I think. Yep. Yeah. Thank you.